Rando knotting. It's an app you download. It's called Rando Knot. What is it? It works with your mind, your thoughts, the things that you are thinking. And it'll give you like random like like places to go to with like yeah like with like high energy. When it comes to trending apps this summer, this is number one in both Google Play and the Apple App Store. It's called Rando Nautica, and its makers say it is designed to take you out of your day-to-day -day routine and into a fun adventure. But here's the thing. Is this just a fun app to take you on a fun adventure? Or is there something else going on here? Something we don't really fully understand yet? I've got the answer for you, and it's coming right up. said to me in an email, the app sends you on grand adventures, but there are videos on TikTok saying it led people to creepy and mysterious places. John, I've watched a bunch of videos that people have recorded themselves, you know, working with this app, and I gotta tell you, I can see why some people might think there's a little something odd going on here, but let's not take anybody else's word for it. Let's find out for ourselves. As with any good app, Randonautica has its very own webpage with a ton of information on it. Now, according to the website, the story goes like this. A group of well-meaning app developers decided that all of us had fallen into a kind of reality rut. In other words, we stay inside our own little social media space and pretty much move around in a confined area on a day-to-day -day basis. Here's what the guys over at the SideQuest Guys channel had to say about it. What it does is it selects a random location somewhere near you, okay? And then you put in a word that is significant. Any word. Any word. So like angry or broken or something like that. And supposedly this app draws on mystical powers of some kind. I don't really know. I haven't really looked into it that much. But according to them, they say it will bring you to something that represents that word. Now, where things get a little bit tricky is what people are finding when they follow the map. Anna Garrett, in her video called Our First Randonautic Adventure, made her intention something positive. I'm trying to envision, like, I don't know, either flowers or nature or something just super cool. Anna and her boyfriend ended up finding just that. Well, we got my flowers. On the other hand, Nick Crowley picked something much more scary for his intention. I think it should be... Stopped recording a few minutes later and then explained what happened. A car swerved in front of us and literally missed us by like a fraction of a second. It was the scariest, craziest thing that I've ever experienced. Hmm, this is kind of a weird one. I mean, on the one hand, it's just an app, right? I mean, you download it from Apple or Google and you assume somebody over there checks these things out before they put it on their site. But on the other hand, you know, there is something odd going on here. I mean, it's like this thing can almost read your mind or something like that. Oh my God, there are fairies. How do we explain all these strange coincidences that people are experiencing when they use this thing? What causes the miracle to happen is a shift in perspective. All right, so I think this is how we're going to handle this one. If you think this is just an app to help you get out of your, you know, rut that you're in, you know, and, and get your mind to expand a little see other things in this world, then I want you to vote real. Now, on the other hand, if you think this is not just an app, I mean, maybe something else is going on here, then I want you to vote fake. Now, I know, you know, we probably should have said good or evil for our choices here, but we don't have those categories, so just do real or fake, okay? Now, you
You can always vote unknown if you don't think we have a smoking gun, because uh, there's a good chance on this one we don't. All right, so what we used to do is vote up here, but YouTube took that away. So what you do now is you go to the description box, you click on that, you go to my community page, you vote there, and then you come back here and you watch the rest of the video to see if you're right or not, okay? Now, if you don't want to do all that, you can just pause the video, go to the comments, section leave your answer there or do what's what some of my friends do and that is just yelling especially if you're in a group okay now you guys get your business out of the way and i'm going to get into my business here and we're going to find out whether we need to be running toward or running away from this random rando nautica mind-blowing adventure app okay <laughs> And uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, boy. Got some shocking news for you. And the news is that Randonautica is, as far as an app is concerned, real. Looking for solid answers about this. App, I went to the app's developers and spoke with Auburn Salcedo. Tell me this, I mean, because a lot of people are really curious about this app. What what was the goal? What's the motivation that was inspiring you guys to put this together? What did you want to do for people with this app? Yeah, so it actually stems a lot from Joshua's vision of this idea that if people go to random coordinates, then they are breaking out of the problem. TikTok videos out there where people will, you know, put in their intent, uh, they'll go out of these adventures, and then something scary or creepy will happen, and this is sort of put this tone into the app that it could be dangerous, so for the people who are worried about that, what would you like to tell them? That was definitely never the intention of the app. I mean, our group has... Like, so much peace, love, kind of hippy-dippy, like, get out in nature. That's, like, our our uh, heart of the project is, is a lot to do with that. So I think it is. it has been hard for our team to see, like, the paranormal side really take off. And people are making, like, staged videos of, like, like saying they found someone that was kidnapped. And I'm happy to go figure out if that actually happened. And then it turns out an actress in a wig. So it's been kind of challenge to see people use it with like the intention of um, these like negative creepy things and I hope that people maybe they if they're interested in it for the creepy aspect at first that's cool but then they get bored with it and they realize that there's just like unlimited potential and things that you could find by using Okay, last question, and that is about privacy. You know, we have a lot of issues. I've probably you've probably heard lately that you know TikTok is under some pressure that they're sharing information back with a foreign government of the United States. And give me the lowdown on the privacy issues with your. Yeah. We have none of your information. We have no data backend. We are a group of four people that are just trying to keep the app running. So as far as like backend infrastructure, we don't know who you are, where you are, we don't know your location, but in any other case, like we don't do any data collection collection. We don't have any third parties. We're an unfunded project, so we don't even have investors or anybody that would be interested in, in that information. We're probably like the most private app that's ever been number one on Apple <laughs> Well, listen, I know you're busy, Auburn, so I just want to thank you for helping us understand this app a little bit better today, and uh, good luck with it. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That was Auburn Salcedo, one of the developers of Randonautica, giving us the inside information. Now, guys, if you want my opinion, I really like this app, and I don't think you should be afraid to use it as long as you follow their directions and be careful, okay? And also, I think, you know, if you're under 15, you should take a parent or guardian with you just so you don't get yourself into trouble. I, myself, am going to be doing my 
my own Rando Nautica in a follow-up video with some more interview clips from Robert Salcedo about whether this thing can read your mind or not. So don't miss it. Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more realer fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and...